this video, we'll see how to automate smarter, not harder, by using AI-powered data mining and discovery with UiPath. Which process should we start with? A great place for businesses to start is order to cash. Who doesn't want to delight customers and realize revenue faster by optimizing this process? We'll see how process mining, automation hub, task mining, and communications mining work together to help you continuously discover the highest ROI opportunities using the power of AI. This process happens in SAP, so we'll use the order to cash app template provided by UiPath to create our process app simply by following instructions for fast data access and extraction from SAP. Now that our process app is up and running, we can begin our AI-powered analysis. If we don't know where to start looking, we can start with the process inefficiencies that are automatically generated. But for now, I want to focus on key performance indicators. As an automation center of excellence lead, I care about reducing manual processing time through automation. But I also need to be mindful of the KPIs the business cares about. Our supply chain director is focused on increasing customer satisfaction, so we'll focus on that KPI as well. Let's start by identifying which activities take the most manual processing time. We'll first change the metric on the process graph from number of sales orders to total manual processing time. I can quickly see that the activities taking up the most processing time are create sales order and create sales order item. Let's now bring the process graph to life by clicking play to see how each sales order travels through the process. Now, it's great seeing this process in action, but to truly understand the impact of this manual processing time, we can go to the Automation Potential Dashboard. The Automation Potential Dashboard makes it easy to see where the most opportunity lies in the end-to-end -end process. Just as indicated by the process graph, Create Sales Order, followed by Create Sales Order Item, are the activities with the most manual processing time. We can take our analysis to the next level by using AI-powered simulation to understand the impact automation would have on our key metrics. Let's start with create a sales order. This idea could be over 50% more automated, which would save us over a million dollars annually. This is amazing. But even though this automation idea is compelling for supply chain, we need to make sure it's compelling for the overall business. Selecting the right areas to invest in first can make or break our automation program's success for the year. So we're going to send this idea to Automation Hub directly from Process Mining to evaluate it against others submitted across the organization. Compared to the other ideas identified across the organization, our idea to automate the process of creating sales orders is high on automation potential, ease of implementation, and projected savings. This means it's a great candidate to move forward with automating. Our next step is to quickly create a business case from Automation Hub and present this idea to the head of supply chain and other key stakeholders to get their buy-in. A chart is auto-generated that shows the net benefits over a two-year period that we can easily present to the steering committee. Once we have buy-in to pursue this idea, we want to send it to our developers to automate. The only problem is that they will have no idea how this activity is actually executed. But luckily, our next discovery capability, task mining, helps us document this process in no time. Let's launch a project directly from Automation Hub and see how it works. Employees simply install a recorder client on their computer that captures screen data each time they type or click something. Once we have all the individual task variations from each person on how they create a sales order, we can use the AI-driven auto-merge to have the model automatically combine these individual task graphs together in a matter of seconds. It looks like the standard process is to open an email, open the attached purchase order, and then navigate multiple SAP screens to create the sales order, and then once the sales order has been created, respond back to the customer's email. Seems straightforward, but after discussing with the process owner, they told me that the shared inbox could receive any number of requests. So to automate this process, we'll need to recognize when an email arrives from a customer asking for a new order. Instead of asking the process owner and IT to change their workflow or system structure, we can use communications mining. Communications mining uses cutting edge AI to categorize and triage emails automatically. After using the out-of-the-box connector for Outlook and aligning our conversations in communications mining, we get a breakdown of all the different types of requests arriving in this mailbox, as determined by the natural language processing engine. I can see how often people are contacting my team about existing orders, new orders, status updates, deliveries, and other inquiries. Now that we have this breakdown, we can dig into new order requests, since that's the type of request we want to automate first. We can see here that sometimes the messages come in with the order information in the body of the email, whereas sometimes they're just attaching the purchase order. This type of variability is expected and manageable by UiPath. When the order information is in the email body, we can use communications mining to extract it. And when it comes in the form of an attachment, we can use intelligent document processing. Now that we have everything we need for this automation, we can send it to our developers. 
Let's see how the final automation works in action. An email just arrived into the mailbox for a new order with the purchase order attached. This email has already been triaged by Communications Mining as a new order, and the automation has been kicked off to have document understanding extract the necessary information from the attached purchase order. Next, the robot takes all the data extracted and validated from the attachment and creates a sales order in SAP. According to our process mining data, this automation should run at least 20 times per day. Once the automation has been running for some time, we can monitor the effects it had on our process. Our SAP data has been refreshed in process mining, so now we can compare the process from before we started incorporating automation and other improvements to after and see exactly what level of impact they had. It looks like the process was indeed streamlined. The number of variations has decreased from 45 to 18, and there are two activities, change expected delivery date and change delivery item quantity that have been eliminated. It's great to see the effect that our process transformations had on the process. Instead of guessing, now we have the tools to prove our assumptions and gut feelings. We can also see the effect this process optimization has had on our KPIs. This is great. The automation rate went up quite a bit, which reduced our manual processing time by 20 years or 175,000 hours. Equating to costs, UiPath Discovery products have saved us millions of dollars in process transformations so far. But there's still one thing left to investigate, customer satisfaction. Remember how we used communications mining to understand what customers were asking for with natural language processing? Well, it can also help us understand customer sentiment. We now have a communications analysis dashboard in process mining that combines our communications data with our process data. As we move to this dashboard in compare mode, we can track the overall customer satisfaction rating, which has gone up a few percentage points from 64% to 67%, but it's still lower than we would like. Leadership thinks that customer satisfaction has been down because of late deliveries. So let's see if that's truly the case. We can look to the process graph and see how the customer satisfaction rating changes throughout each activity in the process graph. But I wanna see exactly how the customer satisfaction is affected for late deliveries. Adding a filter for late deliveries reveals that our customer satisfaction rating is negatively impacted by this behavior by almost 15%. Let's get to the root cause of these late deliveries to improve the overall customer satisfaction. To do this, we'll hop over to the AI-powered root cause analysis dashboard. By looking at shipping point country, we can reveal our main culprits for late deliveries, China, Argentina, and Germany. Although China has the highest influence, Germany has the highest occurrence. So let's dig into Germany. I'll now add a layer for material group to see if there are any materials in particular that are the root cause influencers at this site. It seems that there are three main material groups that are causing delays. Now that we have these data-backed insights, we can trigger an automation directly from process mining to send an email to the operations manager in Germany to alert them about these material groups. Now the operations manager has the data they need to determine the best path forward. This could be to investigate using an alternate carrier or optimize the order fulfillment process for these materials. Now that we've saved quite a bit in this process and can keep an eye on inefficiencies and anomalies when they come up, we can move on to another area to investigate. To determine what area to target next, we want to cast a wide net. So we're going to launch a workforce intelligence project via task mining to see where our workforce is spending the most time. Workforce intelligence gives us the ability to install recorder clients on hundreds of employees' machines to see where they spend the most time. This will help us determine where to focus automation efforts at a large scale across applications. We just finished a six month project with over 300 employees. It appears that Salesforce is the top used application. By digging into Salesforce, we can uncover the screens most used. It looks like these are all activities related to the lead to order process. Luckily, UiPath also has a process mining app template for Salesforce lead to order, which is suggested in the relevant marketplace recommendations at the bottom of this page. We can now expand our process mining and automation program into our next improvement area in just a fraction of the time it would take if we didn't have pre-built app templates available with UiPath. Now that my next process app is up and running, it's time to investigate the next round of automation and improvement initiatives. We just experienced how integrated UiPath Discover products help us automatically discover our end-to-end -end processes, understand where improvements will deliver the most value, automate and improve holistically, and continuously monitor our processes, tasks, and communications. Now just imagine what's possible with continuous discovery in your organization.